Naughty. <laughs> yeah. Naughty Jamie. Can't watch your TikTok right now, Rob. Um, that, that. To be fair, that, I hadn't that, actually looked that. at looked at the messages, so it was kind of like I hadn't like just hadn't looked at it. Whereas yeah. Joe has looked at it. Yeah. Joe will Liam again today. Mm. Oh fuck! I've copied the wrong fucking thing. What a penis. Yeah, the, Joe went to met Beth because Beth got uh, Joe got his twenty percent discount on James's football boots, ready for his tournament tomorrow. Mm. With the eggs. I kind of is it bad that I kind of really hope J dear Dean's kid's there. <laughs> yeah. But James scores past Dean's kid. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. I don't know, he got better today. Yeah. Smoky Devil's running late, but that's the only one that I'm aware of. Yeah, but that's the thing, that's why I'm trying to teach him how to play it properly, so it's not a bunch of kids just running around. Because yeah, on the minute, yeah, but then if he's got the ball and he's not just like kids just running around. He's then got a bit of know what know how what to do, hasn't he? Not just follow everybody else. No, but Craig will carry from the wall. Tell you now, all that will go out of the window. And he'll just be running around smiling like a goofy little shit like he is. We'll see. What? Huh? It might not be that horrible, it's just a kid like No, no, we'll see. We'll see. Are we just missing? Because we are literally just, just missing smoking now, then, aren't we? No. Nope. No? No, nowhere near. Oh, No one, yep. Yeah. I mean, Dan can still technically win it. Oh, fine. But him and John Boy are well off. Top three separated by 11. Right. Top two separated by one. Oh. Cobb and Flora. Yeah. Right, before I press start, I want to turn you up. How are we, Jamie? Anyway, are we well? Yeah, I'm all right. Apart from the bloody work experience, well, oh, I could have ran my head into a wall yesterday. Why well, you got some trainee there or something? Yeah, he looked he looked really enthusiastic. He he kept looking at my mentor like he'd flushed his hamster down the toilet. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, like stri stripping out dam uh, accident damage cars and stuff right. like that. Duffin's dip. Good evening and welcome to Simplay Motorsport here for the season finale at, uh, at Not Kill. Sorry, I was just noting that we can still be heard on the chat. So I apologise to everybody that has heard us on the chat. And uh, either way, we are live and ready to go. Um, Not Kill then is the race for tonight, is the track for tonight, the finale of the British Touring Car Championship here at Simplay Motorsport, and it could not be tighter. Five drivers in with a chance to win. Three drivers really in with a chance to win. We've just lost Dan. We hope to get Dan back in, and then we hope that we can get uh, Smokey Devil in, who's just running a bit late, might not make race one, but who should be back in for race two, he said. So we hope we can get Dan in. And we hope we can get um, Smokey Devil back in as well. But I'm Matthew Duffin, as always, joined in the commentary box by Jamie Brazier. Jamie, how are we? I'm very well, thank you, Matthew. How are you? Very good, thank you. Not kill. Don't see it that often on Project Cars. A very special circuit to us British touring car fans. What do you mean for the drivers tonight? Uh, it's a very challenging, very challenging short circuit. Very, very, very easy to get it wrong. It, it's quite quite a roller coaster of a track as you watch. Jay come come up the start straight 
and he's then about a plummet downhill through Duffin Duffin's dip. Yep. We've we've nicknamed it tonight. It is Duffer's Dip, but we have renamed it to Duffer at uh, Duffin's Dip after my uh, last name. But uh, yeah, Jamie, like you say, roller coaster of a circuit, very challenging track. And as Jay's just done there, it's very easy to get it wrong. Oh yeah, it's very easy to get it get it wrong through the chicane and through through that corner as well. Very easy just to just to dip it in the gravel. So we watch your when we watch your touring cars around here, it's quite easy for them to make a mistake around here as well. But so a very short lap, so and quite quite a lot of overtaking opportunities, and normally a very good track if you're in a rear wheel drive car. Normally it is. You say it's a normally a rear-wheel drive car track, but the qualifying record is Rory Butcher of a 50.4 in the real world in a touring car. And Ash Shutton has the race lap record in 2020 when he was in his infinity. So there you go, rear-wheel drive for you. The circuit, 1.27 miles, eight corners for them to challenge, uh, for, for them to, the drivers to take on Duffin's Dip into Leslie's. Then you've got McIntyre's and Butcher's into the Black Circle chicane. And then you've got Clark's and Hislop's, the slight little bend before coming to the Taylor's hairpin where we've seen many ascending manoeuvre in the past, Jamie, in the real life world, and I'm expecting we're going to see a few tonight. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a very good, um, very good corner to send on to see Craig go up into Viv. I remember Ash Sutton having having a massive act back in 2015, I think it was back when it was mm. Formula Formula MSA. Um, do you remember? I think it was Tom Ingram back in his Ginetta Junior Ginetta GT4 days. Um, didn't get off the line um, and, and got ploughed into because the start line here is, is on the brow of a hill, isn't it? The leaders are over the hill and at the back of the pack. Maybe not tonight because you only get 12 cars on not kill on this game, but in the real world. And Tom Ingram, I think, stalled on the line and got absolutely demolished by the back. I can't remember who hit him, but it was a nasty accident. Mm. See, so normally it's here because I see the, see the sh uh, hairpin that Cobb's just gone around. No. The guys at the back of the grid normally uh, starting up on on entrance to that yeah happen is Cobb's now just gone quick quick as by seven hundredths of a second. So what's the situation for tonight? Well, let me tell you: three drivers really in for a shout. Five drivers though can still mathematically win it. This man Cobb leads the way. One point clear of Fury. Cobb does have his hundred liters of fuel. Let's check if Fury does as well while we're going through this list. Jay does, so that's another one that we've checked. Fury does as well. Jay is third place. Jay is 11 points behind uh, Cobb, 10 behind Fury, so he's got it all to do. Dan worked his way back into the top four last week after his first win of the season. 32 behind, still within a shout, because 54 points you can score. Dan and Nick the Villa, who are 32 and 34 points behind, normally when you're about in that 40 points mark, you're going, oh, it's really over. You know, it's going to take something drastic. 32 and 34 points is doable. John Boy then is sixth place. He can't win it. Neither can Craigie in seventh. Gary is in eighth. Can't win it. Neither can Smokey Devil in ninth, who we hope can get in before race one. Luca and Plava in tenth. He's back this week. Lucas Roth 11th, Welsh 12th. So we've got the three Scottish drivers on home soil as well. And then that Bozzy boy did finish in 13th place. DJ Phil finished 14th with Bryn 15th. Mazda 16th, Monkey Boy 17th, and Andy brought up the rear. And Jamie, it's been a season of ups and downs if you're this man, especially more than the others. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Last week was was a bit of bit of a roller coaster for for this man. He was on his on his roof in qualifying. He got sent to the moon in race one, and then managed to win race two. What's he got to do tonight and what has John Boy got to do? Sorry, Nick the Villa got to do to put the pressure on. Surely they've got to get a pole position here. Surely they've got to go for a fastest lap because every point for these two that you see on the screen now matters. Oh yeah, every point matters for these two. They've got to go for fast, fastest lap, pole position, race win. The only problem is they might say with Nick being a bit further back, he's going to be on it a bit more than Dan. And if these two are together on the track, you'll see, you might see them come to blows a bit. Now, a lot of people say that the Megane is an overpowered car and is dominant. When Smoky Devil turns up, we only actually have six Megans on the track. So testament to Gary and to Craig, John Boy, Plava, Lucas Roth and Dan 
if you're not getting it we've only got one BMW and one Astra we've got three Merce we've got four Mercedes Benz out there yeah we have we has M say M Plav has done well considering he's say he's not not too familiar with a lot of the uh, a lot of the British circuits unlike unlike everyone else on the track I see Gary, Gary on the grass just coming out coming out of Chicane gets out, out of the way of everyone see Nick the Villa ghost in there that would be because Dan yeah left Dan left the lobby yeah um, Jamie this man here I want to take your attention back to a few years ago an old league we used to race in where we all met this man we did a do you remember the special event we did at Knock Hill uh, no I don't Ah, did a special event at Knock Hill for the Group B and the Group A boys. We did it basically. Those who'd come down from Group A into Group B got to race Knock Hill. Um, and those who'd gone up from Group B got to race Group A. Gary won, because if you remember at the time, we ran six cars. We ran the Genetta GT5, we ran the Formula Rookie, uh, Genetta Super Cup, Clio Cup, and we ran the Porsche GT3 and we ran the Touring Cars. Gary won six out of six races and really took it to a guy called AMH. Not by doing that he didn't, but he won no. six out of six races on default setups. That was back in the day. What can Gary do tonight in a BMW? At the minute, he's not really he's not really doing a lot. He's his last of the qualifiers so far. But look how look at the gaps between everyone. It's one point eight covering the top top eleven, and it's only one second covering the top four. But everyone's quite quite close together. There's no one massively massively in front. Well, Jace near enough four tenths in front of of mm. the villa but no one's massively off the back everyone's kind of in the same pace bracket one man who's not going to be enjoying qualifying at the minute is Fury John Boy can't win the title but Fury especially a point behind Cobb but currently down in seventh place now it is a short lap Smokey Devil might be able to get out for a lap as well but Fury uh, Jamie really seems to be struggling in this qualifying session yeah, he does. That he's just probably not found the correct lines, the correct line around here. It's very, as we said at the start, it's a very, very difficult track to get right. Excuse as, me. Yeah, as, yeah, as you see him get get on the dirt there. If he qualified, if he stays seventh, what's he got to do in the race? He's just got to try and keep his keep his nose clean. Try it say Jay Jay's on pole he's got to hope that Nick Villa takes the win because Nick Villa is the per is say the person who's the furthest behind at the minute and at, at the top three he doesn't want Jay to win he doesn't want Cobb to win if anything he wants Emplava Emplava to win but all he's got to do is just keep it, keep his nose clean keep picking people off when they make mistakes and round this track it would say like he says it's going to be quite easy for people to make mistakes. You can see Smokey Devil uh, coming towards the ship. He's now two tenths up on his fastest lap. Mm. Is this going to put this could put him above Dan and John Boy and put him on the row behind Cobb? Yeah, directly behind Cobb if his time is good enough and it is good enough for P5. Yeah. And Dan can't answer back in the background, but they all get one last lap apart from Jay, Nick the Villa, Cobb. And, uh, and Craig E and Smokey Devil who's just gone straight on at the chicane so his time is done then and unfortunately didn't get to the lap in evening to PN Motorsport and to DJ Phil in the chat DJ Phil sadly missed the quali uh, missed the cutoff for the top 12 Lucas Roth down in 7th just goes ahead of John Boy at the end good evening to Digger as well who's the next man to finish a lap in qualifying I'm not well, quite sure it's is, Gary yeah, who is Ninth place and needs Jamie some four attempts to get himself on the back of John Boy, Lucas Roth, and Dan. Yeah, let's see what what he does as he comes across the line. He does no improve, no no oh, improvement. Fury. Dan's backed what? out of his lap in the background. Fury goes ahead of Enplava, so now we'll start alongside Cobb instead of directly behind him. Enplava doesn't improve. Well, she doesn't improve either, and it was a very slow on Orthodubs that didn't finish his lap. But if you're WSRCJ, Jamie, you are a very, very happy man because that puts you 10 points behind Cobb already. Talk us through this grid. So on pole position is WRCJ. Second place is Nick Villa. Third is Cobb. Fourth is Fury. Fifth, Emperor. 
Sixth, I know, Club seventh, Lucas Roth. Eighth, John Boy. Ninth, Gary. Welshy, tenth. Craigie, eleventh. And Smoky Devil, twelfth. Lucas Roth, the best of the, of the Scottish drivers so far, so he can take a bit of, bit of pride in that. No, the best Scottish driver out there on the grid. Twelve drivers in this race one. A 20-minute race, no pit stops, as it has been all season. Good evening to Fawzi in the chat. And good evening to Fury's granddad as well. 13 people currently watching. Guys, girls, let's hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to hit the bell to be notified. GT3 action coming up, hopefully, this week. We have got a few people missing, sir, at Goodwood. Um, so we don't know if it is going ahead yet. We will. We are trying to find out as soon as possible to let you know to whether it will be postponed. But Silverstone Classic is the destination. So we stay in Britain for a, a triple header of British racing this week before Jamie. And I'm sure you're looking forward to this one, the F2 on Sunday evening. Yeah, I'm, I'm look at, uh, looking forward to it. I try and catch a stream because I'm, I'm actually at Snetterton. Oh, you miss. Weekend. Oh, um, you and PN both miss. No Prima Motorsport. Uh, no, PN, PN's able to make it back. I might be able to make it back. I'm not un, not 100% sure yet. But yeah, I'll be at Snetterton for the British GT this weekend. That's a fair point, actually. I'm at Donington. Cobb's got his 100 litres in. Fury's got 100 litres in. And our North Tubbs has got his 100 litres in. Now, the stream on Sunday might be at 8 o'clock. <laughs> because I'm also at Donington VIP um, for the Ferrari Challenge uh, thanks to my lovely boss Dave Richardson Dave if you're watching very good evening to you like and subscribe um, I'm at Donington yeah or hopefully at Donington so yes evening to uh, Jiffers in the chat F2 says Pierre and evening Pierre and Mummy D says, uh, says Fury's granddad and I'll be back in time what are you doing you you're taking one of the GT cars and racing own PN, Jamie. You ought to do the same. Probably a Ferrari now in PN. But here we go then, Jamie. The penultimate round of the season. We're about to be lights out and away. It's green and go. And look at Jay getting an absolute demon start off the line. The rest kind of get an average start. Gary 131 looking to use the best of that BMW's potential. And down into Duffin's dip they come for the first time. Gary's already up to sixth place. And down they come through the hill and the chicane. All nice and tidy and clean. And Dan has dropped back to P8 off the line already. But Jay there, Jamie, got a demon start. Nick the Villa now pressuring the back of him. Huge wiggle. And Gary off in the gravel. Lucas Roth gives him a bit of a tap as he went wide as well yeah he did Nick the Villa's gone wide so this is going to present Cobb an opportunity to get into that second place Nick the Villa is on the ground he's Cobb's up alongside him he's going to look for a move into the chicane who's latest on the break with Cobb Nick the Villa tries to hang it round the outside but Cobb's just going to show him the gravel is for him and oh! here he goes. Fury a tap up the rear of Nick the Villa and that's put them both off and tumbling down the order and they want to make sure they rejoin safely a flash of the lights from Fury there is now Dan's coming past evening to Fury's mum and mummy D in the chat and Lucas Roth now up into P4 in his Mercedes Benz and it's Jay from Cobb from N Plover from Lucas Roth and through Leslie's they come now you have to say there that for Nick the Villa and Fury a bit of a catastrophic moment especially if you're Fury Especially for Fury, that was, I think that's John Boy who yeah. just launched himself off the curb and he's lost a position to Welshie, so Welshie up in 8th place, so good start for Welshie. Nick Villa now looking all over the back of Lucas Roth, he's, gonna, he's, he's got the run down the inside, late, is he going to be late on the break? Fury up looking at the inside of Dan as well. Lucas Roth around the outside trying to hang it side by side, Nick Villa and Lucas Roth are side by side as they come up and over the brow of the hill. <coughs> Excuse me, once again, and Lucas Roth doing absolute bits at the minute to try and stay side by side. But he's going to be on the outside for turn one. And he's not oh, yielding his Lucas Roth. Bit of a tap from the two drivers there. Down to first dip they go. Still side by side. And Fury now barges Lucas Roth out of the way and says, Excuse me, I'm coming through. Yeah, he, he sensed the opportunity and took it. And you can see Gary on the back. And that's M. Plava off like Fury's off like. Well, she's off like they're all going wide. They're all going wide at the chicane, and John Boy now on the inside of Fury, and that's a tap on the back of Fury, and they both manage to hold on to it. Gary down in 10th place, not able to capitalise at the minute, but he gets alongside Welshie now as they come towards a hairpin. Past Welshie, past John Boy. Does he try and send one on, uh, on Fury? No, he doesn't, but Welshie nearly set one into the back of Gary's boot lid there as Jay and Cobb checking out out front. And Plava, though, has now just lost third place on the timing screens. Nick the Villa must just slightly be in front and then can't keep it up the inside. Nick the Villa pushing Jamie to get back in that top spot. 
Yeah, he really is pushing series now. Back on, back on Dan Lucas. Who off, I think made a bit of contact. There is Emplav. Oh, there's Ma. Look at that. Emplav had got up on the curb. Got, got two wheels on the curb, and Lucas Rogers got caught out by it. Dan. Got caught, and Gary spun it again. A it's huge wiggle. Time. Did he catch John Boy there? He did, who just narrowly avoids Emplava. And Gary dropping down the standings down to P11. And Craig E will be the next car to pass him. But what mid-pack drama this. Fury then right on the back of Lucas Roth. As Lucas Roth breaks late, locks up into the hairpin corner. Gets away now, though. The top three are away. And Lucas Roth, just outside the podium, has a, a rather fired-up Fury, if you will, right on the back of him. Yeah, Fury is looking every which way to get past that blue and white Mercedes. He's going to get try and go for the run. He's gone to the outside. He's going to go for the cut back here. He gives he gives Lucas Roth a tap up the rear. That's not going to work. Up the chicane they come then for the fifth time in this race. Fury a little wide there. Curbs a law, says PN Motorsport around this track. And Fury just now has to be patient behind Keegs and wait for his opportunity to come as Keegs then starts to just pull a little gap after Fury had a bit of a slow moment through the chicane Dan is just a sitting duck behind them isn't he with that fuel though just cannot do anything as Keegs out breaks himself in the hairpin and thank you mama for the carrot says Fury as he takes P4 yeah he did Fury would be loving on that one he's now got to try and make up about, he's got to make up over three seconds to try and get onto the back of Nick Nick Villa and reduce the deficit but Lucas Roth isn't going away here. No, he's not going away. The homeboy, the local lad, if you will, needed to get off his phone at work because he was sexting today. But Fury's gone wide out of Leslie's, <clears throat> as did Dan there. And that has gifted Keegs an opportunity to get back into P4. And I tell you what, if you're Jay, you're sitting pretty in the lead at the moment. One and a half to work. Whoa, Lucas Roth on two wheels. And he's on his side in the gravel trap, lands on the wheels. And that was a real heart in your mouth. He's trying to attack it like he's Rory Butcher and Gordon Shedd and the Scottish drivers who really launch over these curbs. And that was a little too much. And I imagine his dad, Welch, has had a good giggle as he comes past him and he's on two wheels in the gravel trap. Yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was a bit bit too much. Curb. Then he now drops down to 11th. In the last minute, it's Craig Yee. He seems to be struggling. A bit of this track as well. She just runs it a little bit wide. But he's... Not too far off the back of Dan. Dan really struggling. That Astra not liking this track whatsoever. We've heard Kelly say in the past that I can't wait to set the Renault and the and the McLaren on fire. I've got a feeling that Astra might be going to Kelly's bonfire yard and um, and being set alight as well. Because I, I speaking to Dan, uh, he can't wait to get out of it. Yeah, he's only got to wait until about until about half past nine to get out of it. And Plava now up into up into sixth place after well she well she made a mistake. So the, it, I don't know whether you remember Matt the um, the incident with Paul O'Neill at that corner yeah. back, back in 2013. I think it was him and Nick Foster and Nick set the car on fire. I do remember that one. It was a yeah a bit of a scary moment as well. It's down on lap eight. They start now. Jay's got a two-second lead over Cobb. Cobb's about three seconds up the road from Nick Villa. He's four seconds up the road from Fury. And Fury's three seconds up the road from Dan at the minute. Welshie and M. Plava really trying to get on the back of Dan here. Dan, in the 51s, look, everybody around him's in the 50s. Just has no pace, does it? No. No, Dan doesn't have any, have any pace whatsoever. Maybe he's trying to look after his tyres for... But later in the race, is, ooh, I thought he'd gone onto the gravel there. He does touch the gravel this time, and that Mercedes is going to get ever closer in his rear view mirror. He is indeed, as Gary and Smoky Devil coming out of the hairpin corner. Gary getting ever so closer in Smoky Devil's mirror. The second of the Scottish drivers out there, because Welchie leads the Scottish drivers away. For WRSCJ, though, he has extended his gap to Cobb at the minute. 2.8 seconds is the gap. Now in Gary and Smoky, I saw coming down Duffin's dip there, both around. And that's John Boy through, and that's Keegs to pass his fellow Scottish compatriot as he locks up and Smoky Devil has a look back. But Gary then is having a nightmare race. What's happened to Emplava as well? She's got past him. They're side by side at the minute. And they're side by side as they come down towards us. You think, who's going to have gonna have the bigger break? Well, she goes, she's going to go very deep. Is Emplava going to get back up the inside? No, he goes nope. to the beach. He gets in the gravel. 
Yeah, well, she broke that late. He was winning to yesterday. He was breaking so late there as Keegs trying to hold off Smokey Devil in the background. And for Welchie now, a chance to attack the back of Unorthodubs in this race. And how many times has he been able to say that? He'll be loving this. The fact he's up in P6 and fighting. Oh, he's not going to love that. Although well held, Welchie. Yeah, it's well not the quickest way around, not kill, but it's effective. No, so you get a bit of a slice to come through there as an Empire for get gets on the gravel, it's just allowing Dan just to get up the road a bit. Now, is Dan going to be thinking, well, at the minute, Dan would not run 100 litres for race two, but if he dropped back behind, the, behind these two, he'd be able to qualify for race two. He would indeed, he needs to be top six, cannot qualify for race two. 11 minutes to go in this race, but... This would eliminate Dan and John Boy. One, three people it won't eliminate is Fury, Cobb and Jay. And Cobb's lead will extend to Fury, but it'll be closed by Jay at the minute. Fury on a mission to catch on the back of Nick the Villa. Out from that gap's now down to three seconds as well. She getting closer and closer to the back of an orthodox and, and Plava following. Yeah, so it, they uh, won't be too long before well she is on the back. And Plava just a little wide every time through that that mm. well, she, well she now seems to be defending a little he does a little bit he's just defending on the back of Dan then uh, on the back of Emplava sorry as Dan just now able to stretch his legs a little bit more and like you say Dan will be getting rid of that 100 litres of fuel so what can he do without it that'll be the biggest question he'll be looking for a second race win here in the touring cars that's for sure now Jay's had a bit of a pull out last time around with some 6 tenths slower than Cobb so as he just ran wide somewhere yeah, he must have done. So, Nick and Villa and Fury aren't getting much closer. They're all running a identical lap. Oh, oh she. And then Plava's going to have a look up the inside here. That's not a place to do it. I'm yeah, sure I was going to say, you can't, you could tell where, who, who's raced at Knockhill and who hasn't because that is not a place to overtake M. Plava. He's going to give it a good look, is the Latvian, but. Uh, no go there and it's all a learning curve isn't it this season these tracks for Emplava it's, like you said earlier Jamie it's not really a place where he's probably come to a lot uh, not kill so it's all learning for him in race one no say all of this week has probably been a bit of bit of a learning curve for mm. him I say he's done Silver and Classic in the Touring Cup before but he's never done Silver and Classic in the GT3 before which is a different kettle of fish in itself it is indeed then as over the hill they come and well she really close to the back of Dan now and Dan Duffins dip for the for the thirteenth time in this race. He's having a look into Leslie's, no go there, and now they come through back up the hair back up to the chicane, Jamie. Dan just stretches his legs through that part as wow, well she's gone really wide there. Yeah, as he's near he's near enough in the spectator bank. As you, as you say, no one can overtake on that corner. I'll throw it back. I think it was about 2005, 2006, Matt Neal and Jason Plato around there when um, Matt Neal, I think Plato hit, tried to spin him round through there. Plato, and Matt yep. Neal, um, Matt Neal called him a pig. Yvonne Muller playing silly games with a damaged VXR and uh, Matt uh, Neal gaining on him. And yeah, Jason Plato tried to spin him round. I think it might have been 2004 because I think it was in the, I think he was driving the uh, Seat Toledo. I... Uh, Yes, I believe you're right. Because I think it wasn't the year that he won the champ. Matt Neal won the championship, and that was 05. Um, so yeah, you might be right with that one, Jamie. As uh... oh, sorry, yeah, apologies. Oops. You're just gonna have to talk us through this. We've got some inappropriate comments being yeah, uh, well, posted. Well, she so well she had a slide coming through the corner. Dan's gone. Went into the gravel. Emplava followed him, and Welshie's now got up into fifth place, and Dan's dropped down to six. So he's going to be trying to get that put, get that position back. But yeah, that was a bit a bit messy coming through there. All three of them making a mistake, and John Boy, whilst all of the, whilst these three are making a mistake, John Boy and Smoky Devil are all closing in. Now Lucas Roth must have made another mistake because he's last and some way last as well. Nick the Villa a lot slower than Fury last time around, so Fury trying to close that gap. But every time, every lap that goes by, every minute and second that tick by, Fury is losing out to Cobb in this race. The bad thing for Fury as well is he won't be able to qualify, and he will have to run the hundred liters of fuel at the moment. Welshy though, the lead Scotsman and up in P5 in this championship, uh, in this in this race, sorry. Yeah, but Dan looks like he's got a run. Is, is Welshy going to position himself to the inside of the, 
the McGann's got better straight line speed. Dan looking for the inside, but Welshie firmly slams the door straight in his face. Dan's going to try and go late on the brakes. Welshie gets the car stopped beautifully. But yeah, is and Dan gonna the, is Dan going to get the run? And Ross and Poirot are going to do. And Eve, Eve of them can get the run in that. And that Mercedes in the background of Empath gets closer and closer. And it does get closer and closer. And John Boy's getting closer and closer as well. He's getting bigger and bigger in these mirrors. And here as well, she gets Duffin's dip all wrong and has to cut across it. Yields the time there, look. But in yielding the time, has kind of put Dan... Right, OK, I'm going to give my time up right on this part of the corner. And there's Emplava to put the pressure on an orthodox who's all sideways through the chicane. And now has Emplava right on the back of him. Yeah, he does. That's oh, like, yeah. John Boy attacking the curb on two wheels. Not as bad as Keegs, but really attacking it. Dan now to Welshie. Welshie's got the door closed, and this is a typical touring car thing to do. You've got to outsmart the driver coming into the hairpin, and has Dan got a better run? Welshie's had a wiggle on exit. Now looks to defend Emplava. Emplava's got the run on the pair of them. Smoky Devil's had a moment as well, and we are three abreast. A flash of the lights from Welshie. Emplava's up the inside. Dan has to be the one to back out of this, surely. Welshie squeezes and squeezes. And somehow stays in front. And then Plava gets in front of Dan. And now John Boy's come to play. Yeah, John Boy was having a look down the inside there. But Dan managed to keep the position. Jay, though, has gone out front. He's near enough five seconds to the good. Now that's M. Plava running away. What has happened to Cobb? Sorry, Jay, but what happened to Cobb last lap? A 51.8. That is a poor lap from him. Even Fury, a 51.7. Poor lap from him. Is hit now, we're three wide again, but it's a different part of the track, and it's two Mercedes Benz, and it's Dan. We're no longer three wide, but John Boy, does he slav a sniff of a nose up front? No. Him and Dan go the opposite way to, eat it, to what M. Plava does, and nobody makes contact. But now, look. We've got Smoky Devil here to have a little bash. Yeah, well, she's now trying to make good his escape, whilst M12 is defending from from Dan and John Boy, and John Boy is trying his hardest to get past that Astra. Four minutes, 58 seconds left to go. And Dan at John Boy, M. Plava, Welshy, Smoky Devil having a great little scrap here. Out front though, Nick the Villa is only two seconds ahead of Fury now as Dan really attacks the chicane. John Boy thinks, no, I don't fancy that second curb. Dan all over it. Now let's see this part of the track. Dan again and John Boy attacking the curbs. The gap though to Nick the Villa and Fury, that's just over two seconds. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that gap coming down because that could mean a lot as John Boy to the outsider. Dan, you've got to outsmart your competitors at this corner. Corner. He's going to try and go around the outside. Dan's run. Is he? Or has Dan got the run on then? Plava here. We'll have to see when they come over the brow of the hill. Dan still definitely has pulled out. I don't think he has got the run on then. Plava, no. John Boy, though, trying to go right around the outside of Dan as they come down the hill to start lap 19. And Dan tucks back in behind John Boy. No straight line speed in that Astra. He's hurting Dan here. Yeah, he's having a look down the inside. He's got to be careful. What's happened to Jay last lap? The gap's at 1.5 seconds. Yeah, Jay's had a problem somewhere. Let's see his lap time as he crosses the line. He was in the 50s. Wow, big off somewhere then, Jamie. A 54-4. Let's just go on Jay's car. Hold on. Dan's got past Emplava. Yeah, we'll just wait a minute. Dan has got past Emplava, so so is John Boy then. And Smokey Devil's going to have a look. When we get a minute, we'll check Jay's car to see if he's got any damage. But what race is Smokey Devil's going to have a look at Ascendit Maneuver, a late pullout, and Ascendit, these two GT3 teammates, no teammates in the in the touring cars, a Smokey Devil up through uh, past Amplava, and he is really here to play. The Scotsman really knows where to send it on these parts of the tracks, and has done that just perfectly on Amplava there. He has, there was no no show that they were teammates there as... Uh... Smoky Devil shovel then Plava at right as he wants to hunt down that Astra will now jump onto Jay Just no damage that I can see here car looks well intact yeah car looks intact I wonder if he, so he made a mistake because his tyres have gone off yeah potentially so now what has happened to Keegs he's off and parked up it looks like so that's a shame he's parked up here so that'll be 12th place for him as he's now a lap down but yeah I wonder what happened there M. Plava has just started to drop off the back though of this whole gaggle of cars at the minute and that is not what M. Plava wants what's his fuel like as we'll check that in a minute John Boy to the outside of Welshy down towards turn one can't get it done what is M. Plava's fuel is he having to lift and coast no no he should be fine 
Loki's on 2.3 litres. He might be in a bit, a bit of trouble. A spot to bother then with two minutes to go. That's a good couple of laps as well. She's so wide. He must be going back to Dundee and John Boy through and well, she cannot, uh, can just come on just to head it down. Well, she's now got to hunt John Boy down once again and Dan finds himself, he might not like the Astra, but he's got to be loving this scrap. He has, he's got to pick it up in this scrap for Smokey's now. Look down the inside, he's going to get a bit boxed in by Welsh. Smokey's on the inside. Great move. Yeah, Smoke, Smokey could have quite easily shoveled him out wide, but no. And Smokey has got the job done. He's up into seven front Empire. Arthur's right on the back end. So Dan could end this race down in open fury. Is yeah, Fury's right now on the back of, uh, of Nick the Villa and we'll start to feel the benefits of the slipstream here so Fury will have to keep an eye on this because this will mean a lot he'll soon lose out to Cobb but nowhere near as many points Fury two times quicker last lap this time around though that gap as well is still coming down slowly as Dan's up the inside of Welshie now and Dan gets a piece of Welshie and thinks thank you I'll have that spot back thank you very much now Nick uh, now Emplava's going to have a look at doing the same thing Smokey done Welshie as well so Smokey's now the top top spot striker as well she looks down the inside is he going to shuffle shuffle Dan right he's got the but is he going to have to run he's got the better straight line speed than Flat McCann yeah, he's got still side. He's still, they're still side by side. Yeah, Dan's actually got a bit further in front than what I was expecting. His Jade does a 50.000 as well. She gets it stopped into turn one and is back ahead of Unorthodubs. And as they come into turn three now of Leslie's after the, uh, the late, great David Leslie. What a touring car driver he was. Well, she stays in head of Dan, then up the chicane. And on we can go. Last 20 seconds of the race. The leaders then will not get another lap in. And crucially, Fury has got ahead of Nick the Villa. So this is the final lap. What a time to do it. Yeah, what a time to do it indeed. Yeah, oh, he's run wide though. Is this going to... Nick the Villa's back into third place. Nick the Villa then, back through as Fury makes one little mistake. But we've got to go on board this man. We'll come back to Fury in a moment. But this man, qualified on pole, is going to take the first race win of the evening. And crucially, what's happened to Smokey? He's in the pit lane. Is he? He's run out of fuel. He's out of fuel, Smokey Devil. What a shame. But Jay is going to win. And he's going to put pressure on Cobb, who comes home for a great second place. Where's Fury then? He's not past Nick the Villa. And Nick the Villa might have just dropped out of this title hunt, but has not helped Fury at all there. Fury finishes down in fourth place. It's going to be John Boy, who's well clear of the rest now, to finish P5 at least. I think Craig E crossed the line a lap down in 11th place yeah I think he I think he has to but John Boy was going going for the pit so Lucas Roth now retires as well and John Boy comes across the line for 5th Well, yeah. she across the line for 6th Dan for 7th Emperor for 8th Gary 9th and Craig had finished lap down indeed so Welshy then will not be able to qualify in this race crucially there what that does mean is that craig did get ahead of smoky devil so craig would finish at 10th which means smoky devil will finish all the way down in p11 what a shame for him we're going to be right back you've got the fastest lap of the race actually i think look at that 50 point dead it was jay so jay has taken a clean sweep to closing this gap we're gonna be right back in about five minutes time What a race. What a race. Yeah. I don't care what Dan says about that Astra. He cannot complain about that race. That was quality. Yeah, that was. That was brilliant. That was fantastic. All of them. So, the whole battle. Nick Villa, Cobb, and... It's disappeared now. Nick the Villa, Cobb, Jay, Fury... John Boy, Welshy. Yep, I've added three to the party. Oh, sorry, yeah, top three, sorry. What the fuck has gone off here? Oh, yeah, he was putting stuff in the chat. He was like this fucking group. I saw it on Racing on Lease the other week. It was like these naughty hot wives or something putting like. Oh. Uh, 
remove you. Eight points. Ooh, Cobbs, ooh. four points ahead of Jay. Eight points ahead of Fury. Oh, right, Discord. By the way, I'm my football manager. I know this is off topic. I am fifth with Wigan in my first season after a shit start. <laughs> Norwich are eighth. Jay, Cobb, Nick the Villa, Fury, all have to run 100 litres. Jay, Cobb. Right, yeah, definitely. Nick More than likely, I won't won't be doing FT because I'm now because I'm watching British GT and then going for food afterwards. All right, no worries. Nick the Villa, Fiore, <laughs> John Boy, and Welshy. Yeah, I need a towel. <laughs> Just <laughs> <to you. laughs> I know, I've seen that in my mirror. And I was like, oh no! <laughs> yeah. This is well, the thing is, I got a good run on you, didn't I? So it was like, I was coming, so. Eight. <laughs> eight, eight points, lads. Eight points eight between points. the three of you. Oh Jesus Christ! Is it? Cobb leads oh. four points out of J, eight points out of Fury. Oh, oh. game on, Cobb! Game on, mate. Game <laughs> on. You're fourth again, but thirty-nine points behind, so can't win it. But you are five. Uh, sorry, four ahead of Dan. No, we gave you no. That wasn't five points we took off you. That was just points on your license. <laughs> so you didn't actually lose any points there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, if only I finished that first race, eh? first race of the season. <laughs> 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 yeah. I saw that. I was like, no. <laughs> He was a bit. Uh, he was a bit rough. He was a bit rough again. You, you, you couldn't make this championship out, could you? At the end. I think this is why no. the touring cars is wanting to be kept by a few people. So yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. Oh. Yeah, it's been fun, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, How the hell yeah. have I made back twenty nine? Well, twenty five points in three races. Um, it's you, it? Good drives, mate. You've been good. You've been good. Your I'm last five world. races, you've won four and got a third. Began's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. banned next season. <laughs> I don't think that. I don't think it's a McGann. Uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, six. I mean, six. Half the drivers on this grid tonight are not McGann. So. No. So, it does show you that it isn't all the McGanns. I think it's how you. Thing is, them. is. Yeah, the thing is, it's the Beamer. If you take yeah. away the McGann's and you've got the Beamer's left, if someone nails the Beamer right, they're just... Yeah, left. someone like right. Gary, he's just going to be yeah, gone. Exactly. You know? If you get wet weather, that's it. They're gone. They're, yeah. they're literally gone. I can't see many Astras next year. No, <laughs> no not after this uh, season. You could always try and put Dan in there. We can, we can always convince him. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say he'd be a very good sales rep for Astra, would he? <laughs> Uh, it, down the straight, he was getting just smashed by everything. Uh, Nick, it? you just need to join the yeah. session. Yes, buddy. And Keith. He, he kind of got chewed up. It was it uh, altered as well, did he? Or was it slept? I can't remember slept. I think it was. He seemed to, when I watched it back, he just got. Once I got past him, it was like. I think, it was snet, I think that was snetting because yeah, everyone yeah, kept tap, tapping him wide. It. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh no. <laughs> it was a typical touring car move, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Literally, you go wide and that's it, everyone comes through. Well, I couldn't believe he gave me the space when I got past him. I was like, I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm having it. Doing it. <laughs> I think that's down to the damage, isn't it? You don't want damage. Yeah, yeah, true. That's what makes you have to kind of, you want to race touring cars like, but at the same time, you kind of like, mm, don't yeah, really want to lunge in because if I hit him hard. Yeah. Even like the last round at Brands in the second race, I had 10 damage on the front. That's why I was just. Like yeah, half a second off the pace, and it's mad what a little bit of damage does. 
Oh, it's crazy. I do yeah. feel, though, that it brings better racing having the damage on because people have to <laughs> be more aware and think about it. You get people, yeah. when damage is off, people are just like, right, bang. Oh, it's, it's fucking bump yeah. cars, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not healthy. Yeah, I'd like to prefer You just have to look at, like, back in motive days, how many people just lunged and ploughed yeah. into everybody, and it's like, oh, come on. It sort of pissed everyone off, I think. I used to say to Andy as well, because obviously we started and I was commentating for Andy, and it was like, mate, if you ran with damage, a lot of these would learn and become better. Yeah, definitely. And he's like, nah, we don't want to do that. We don't want it to be crap, everybody in the pits all the time. And I'm like, yeah, but... They'll if, learn. if they start learning, they're not going to be in the pits as much because they're not going to be hitting each other as much. <laughs> I think that's where Fury sort of gets it from. With the... Wait, 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 what? You see... Statement, what you... statement from Red Bull regarding Yuri Vips and... They've, they've suspended Yuri Vips from all team duties with immediate effect. Really? Mm. Yeah. You see, Fury, we've said over the last couple of seasons, he's got really good in terms of his cleanness. The minute he's yeah. got back into his touring cars... He was a bit brutal. I don't know. It's as if he's kind of gone back to his motive days where he's just like, bang. Because then he's yeah. done that in GT3 on a Thursday as well. Yeah. Like I raced but against him last Thursday at Spa and he's just kind of tapping me a bit wide a little bit and it's like, mate, what are you doing? Regress. You can't do that. Yeah, it's... But the thing is, in saying that, after that Silverstone where John Boy and Fury, they sort of had a bit of a, yeah. a bicker on the online, yeah. um, Fury sort of calmed down a little bit, I think. I don't yes. know what he was like in this race, but mm. in the last other races he, he was. He was quite aggressive behind me, but I got... I think, up, I seen him fly I think he tapped Nick, Nick round at one point. I yeah. think he... he just he uh, got his back end, did he? I yeah. saw him in my mirror. I right. was watching it. Just going to pop in the game chat just to speak to Welshie oh. about Keegs. Two seconds. Okay, wait. Uh, oh. Welshie? Is Welshie there? Ah, sweet. Um, you had to enjoy that. Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd be loving it. Yeah, but the battle were good, wasn't it? Gary. Oh, that, hell, that was funny. <laughs> we got relegated to Div 7. <laughs> we haven't really. <laughs> you don't lie, you got Dean Wasaki online to help you, didn't you? <laughs> right, I'm going. Div 9. <laughs> Fucking Dan Megs, the keeper, to score a goal. Ah, uh, right, okay. Um, we've not got no keys. So now. Yes, mate. Yeah, it was funny. How, it was weird. How even when Smokey ran out of fuel, you still finished seventh. Wonder, wonder why? <laughs> i catch you back in there, boys. He'll get pole. Yeah, that's it. He'll take pole. Right. Best of luck, lads. Right. Yeah, don't boy, think we've got best. Fury. So, yeah. well, he's he told Dan he's he's absolutely shit in it. He is, is his it? championship. Yeah, because he didn't realise that you and me were going to come on so strong. Yeah. He yeah, thought he had well. it in the bag. Who's that? <laughs> Fury. He thought he had it in the bag halfway through, and then all of a sudden we started coming on really strong. I love people that get overconfident. It makes me laugh. Because then they... I've done enough. So I've done enough now that I just I've got to keep a level head. They just mess <laughs> yeah. up so bad half the time as well. So it's like, oh. Well, my thing is when I first did a championship, I did it on motive, and I did the GT3 yeah. Division Two, and I won all six races with the fucking day, and I won it, and I was like, oh my god. It's pressure yeah. now because they kept going, oh, Cobb, oh, look, this is the guy that's run the fucking <laughs> championship. Yeah. And then I didn't do as well, do you know what I mean? As I, yeah. pressure, I was like, fuck it, I've got to restart, do you know what I mean? Just <laughs> See, that's something I think you can tell the difference in our GT3 leagues between the two levels. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Yeah, it's, to the bit. Oh, it's all right. 
Welcome back to Simplay Motorsport then. We're here for the final round of the season and it couldn't be closer. Eight points separate the top three. But Fiori's no longer second. That has gone the way of Jay, who's nicked that second place from Fiori and is four points behind Cobb. It is all to play for in this second race. We've got the top three, I do believe, in the chart. I know Nick left a moment ago. Is he back? No. So we will start with Cobb. And uh, Cobb, four points between yourself and Jay, eight between yourself and Fiori. Couldn't be closer. You couldn't write it, could you? <laughs> How was that first race for you? Uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, um, obviously, I know that behind me there was a bit of trouble with uh, Nick and Fury, so that was a bit of breathing space. But then, just Jay's just so consistent around here, and he's really quick. So it was more just trying to keep with him, but making sure I kept second. So. Five points. Uh, the difference between first and second but he also took the two bonus points of pole and the fastest slap so you've yeah. kind of got to beat him in this race uh, I do yeah but starting from where we are at the back I mean who knows what's going to happen but uh, we'll see Joe. I mean I'm going to change a couple of things on myself and just uh yeah, we'll see. It's been a great season for yourself, though. You've took a couple of wins. You've had your highs, you've had your lows. Three wins this season. It's been, it's been fantastic to see. Um, shame it's coming to an end. Uh, yeah, it is. It's been great. Like, obviously, the whole championship, and obviously, you guys have done a great job with uh, organising it. And yeah, it's been a, it's been really enjoyable to be part of. And uh, I'm sure that obviously anything else in the future will be part of that too. Race two, then you start ahead of Fury, uh, but just behind Jay. What's the plan? <laughs> um, try not to get in any contact um, keep it clean in the first lap and then uh, see where we are at the end of that <laughs> well we wish you the best of luck buddy go and get him thank you very much mate take care Ta -da. Yeah, we've got Jay in as well and Jay we said off air your form in the last five races four wins and a third place and that's the kind of form that gets you in this position to be winning a title yeah I I'm not overconfident at the moment, still I'm, I'm still on the edge at the moment because you don't know what can happen in the second race. That's it, it was a great race up until one moment. We didn't see it on, on the stream, but you made a little mistake. What happened? Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sort of got a bit overconfident going through the chicane. I clipped the chicane a little bit wrong and got a little bit of a sneak on. A bit, a bit nervous then to see Cobb gain on the back of you? Yeah, yeah, because I knew once once he caught me up, that was it. It was We were going to be attached near enough to the end. You start just ahead of him. It's going to be P9 for yourself. Um, what's the game plan? Because you only need to finish in front of him here. Um, well, preferably get the fastest lap if I could. Yeah. Um, and try and stay ahead of Cobb but nobody knows do they that's, that's the trouble it's yeah. so hard to overtake well we wish you the best of luck buddy go and get him Cheers, and uh, yeah good luck for race two Jamie, two drivers here that are very, very happy with their performance. Obviously, the top six can't qualify. We've lost Lucas Roth from this final race, so it will be Gary, Smokey Devil, Craig, Emplava, and Dan to qualify. Gary's not setting the timing screens alight, and Smokey Devil has a grid penalty, but for Dan, it's a pole position and maybe an extra point to catch Nick the Villa, who in this championship, Cobb leads four points ahead of Jay, four points ahead of, uh, eight points ahead of Fury. Nick the Villa cannot win the championship. He's 39 behind. Dan is only four points behind Nick the Villa, though. John Boy's in sixth. He's 10 points clear of Craig E with Gary some 11 points behind Craig. Smokey Devil is 11 behind Gary with Amplava in 10th place. Well, she's got above Lucas Roth for 11th and 12th. The bottom half at uh, the bottom part stays as it is. And Jamie, we saw a cracking race one. We've got to be in for something similar race two. Hey, we've got to be got to be in for a cracking race too that midfield battle is absolutely excep exceptional and hopefully we can have something something like that to end the, se end the season off I think that's Craig coming to line first it's half, half of the time guns has gone in qualifying Craig doesn't improve what about Empire he just needs a tenth can he put it on the pole no he cannot I think Smokey Smokey is next he's seven tenths up so he could put himself right at the front very close between these at the minute. nine tenths between yeah, nine tenths of a second between them. Uh, Jiff is in the chat. Great racing and great commentary. Thank you very much for your kind words. The Smoky Devil does set a new fastest lap. That's quickly beaten by Unorthodox by three tenths of a second. Gary then moves up into P3 ahead of Amplava. 
And it's Amplava and Craigie, the next two that will cross the line. But Smoky Devil will drop behind Gary. And you have to say that if Gary's on the front row of this grid, Gary could disappear into the distance. Yeah, he'll be at the board by the time Dan's at turn one. Now, question that we had the other week. Um, do you need a passport to get to Scotland for domestic travel? <laughs> Uh, I think there's only one man who can answer that. Unfortunately, he's not great. So <laughs> yeah, there is only one man that can ever answer that question, and that is that Bozzy boy, and we hope to see him out on track tomorrow night. Um, but Smoky Devil, then, as Dan and Amplava both leave the pits, Smoky Devil comes to set another time, as Craig couldn't improve. Eight tenths of a second separate these top five. It is that close. No improvement for Smokey. What about Gary just behind him? He comes to the line. He needs to find five tenths of a second. He finds two of them and gets himself, crucially, on that front row. He does. Well, he would have been on. He would have been on the front row anyway. I fear if we got coming to the final. Craig. So it's Craig. Craig not had the best of nights. No, been a bit poor for Craig uh, by his standards, and he'll want to bounce back in this second race. And as he comes to the line, eight tenths down, finds it again. Just a couple of tenths puts himself P4. Smoky Devil is in a bit of a predicament here as Amplava, and if Craig and Amplava get quicker and get on the back of Smoky, he could be finding himself P6 amongst the non qualifiers with his grid penalty. And Plava, I do believe, him and Dan are on an outlap. So I think it is Smoky Devil's time that we're going to keep our eye on. Yeah, him and Dan on an outlap. Smoky Devil now goes pole position and puts it back seven tenths of a second. What about Gary 131 as the track's getting quicker? Gary goes up to second place by half a... Oh, by uh, half a tenth to Smoky Devil. So he'll be on provisional pole. Yeah, and Dan will be on the second row of the grid. Whereabouts is Dan? Cray eggs at the final call. Can he gain about seven tenths of a second? It's very close between the top three. The track the getting quicker, Jamie. Yeah, smoke. Now, smoke. He's got Dan. Is I think. Dan? Oh, yeah, Dan, Dan's backed off. Emplaf has gone a bit deep. He's tenth up. What can Smokey Devil do? Can he go any further? Can Dan get put himself back on the front row? What can Gary do? Gary, I think, got on the gravel there. Smokey um, doesn't go any quicker and Dan didn't go any quicker what about Gary Gary's going to come to the line no improvement no improvement from any of them then Gary, here comes Craig E as he now tries to get to the uh, sorry Jamie we've just had again another messages from that same people so just take us through it yeah so Craig now coming to the line Smokey's in the pit so is he that is he thinking he's done for the session? That he's got enough? Craig comes across the line. He doesn't improve. Next car across the line, I think, is going to be that of Unorthodox. And he is a, he's down on his time. And he, ooh, he outbreaks himself quite a bit going through there. Uh, yep, the bot has been reported, Fiori. I can't just ban him, but it has been uh, reported and will be continued to be removed. Uh, so, Smokey in the pits, no improvement. Gary to the line, no improvement. And Plava had an off, as Jamie said, no improvement. But everybody gets another lap. Smokey can come back out. I think, well, she's tried to ban them as well. I don't think, though, that Smokey is going to come back out, Jamie. Have we checked? It is a one-place grid penalty. Let's have a look. It is a one-place grid penalty. It is just one, then. Craigie, ahead of M. Plava, needs six-tenths of a second to get ahead of Dan was well down on his time last time around then. So it is going to be Dan who sets the pace next time around. He's currently down on his sector time by nearly two tenths of a second. And he only needs a tenth and a half, Jamie, doesn't he, to get that P1? He does, but he only needs... Uh, yeah, he only needs about a tenth to get P1, even if he goes P2. Yeah, that's a good point. M. Plava, what can he do... Go, he improves and goes above Craig. Goes above Craig, half a second off the pole time of Smoky Devil. Smoky Devil now has completed qualifying. He will not get another lap in. Craig, though, should get one final run at It is a long run out the hip into the start line, so Craig should just squeeze in one final lap. As the other yeah. three, the other two, have got another lap in. Gary has gone to the pit, so no improvement. Craig improves by one hundredth of a second and has backed straight out of it. Not enough fuel. Here comes Dan. He's down on his time, but not a lot. He's got to, he's got to get this chicane perfect. He's got a good drive out the corner. 
He's got low fuel. He might be able to. He's not going to get another lap in. He's going to come to the line just at the wrong moment. Comes across the line. No, no improvement. Three. What about Emplov then? Half a tenth. Half a yeah. Half a second. Sorry. Down. And Emplava. He did improve, did improve, but stays P4. So it will be Gary to take the pole position. Jamie, for the final time this season, talk us through the grid. So, Smoky Death will qualify on pole position, but with a one place group penalty that promotes Gary 131 onto pole position. And Unorthodubs in third, Emplava fourth, Craig E in fifth, and then Nick Laville, the first of the non qualifiers, in sixth, John Boy in seventh, Welshy in eighth. Jay in ninth, Cobb tenth, Fury eleventh. So the the three that can win the title right at the very back. And you couldn't write it, could you? Th eight points separate the top three. Four if you're Jay and Cobb. Eight if you're Fury to Cobb. And Jamie, who is your money on in this second race? Um, I'm going to put my money on Smoky Devil. I've got to I've got to back my teammate on a Thursday night. I think Gary from that position should leave everybody in the dirt and take off with it. That puts Gary ten points behind Craig E. Can he get that job done and can he make sure that he is able to finish inside the top seven? Don't forget, GT3's Pro-Am and Pro, hopefully this week, provided on enough drivers being able to turn up. If otherwise, that'll be postponed. A lot of people at Goodwood this week. Uh, F2 starts on Sunday. No Jamie Brazy, but it'll be PN Motorsport. Unorthodubs will be on that track. I'll be bringing you the action live. I'll get to commentate on Jamie. It's been a while. And then we'll be back. We won't be back next Tuesday night, actually, because this is the final round of the season. And we're ready to go. But we do have ACC coming soon. And I'm sure there will be plenty of talks of another Touring Car Championship coming very soon but for the final time this season it's green and go and Jamie uh, sorry and Gary gets an absolute blinding start but I bet, you be, I bet you didn't predict that one did you in the background though Fury looks like he's got the run on Cobb as Dan side by side with Smokey I think just cut Smokey's nose off a little bit there but Smokey gets through all cleanly and in the background Cobb does fall behind Fury crucially there's a car between him and Jay Fury trying to push Jay through past Welshy as Jay's trying to get past him Fury trying to get past him a wobble from all three of them and somehow everybody Jamie me up the chicane stays on track yeah everyone stayed, stayed on track and Fury is looking very racy on the on this opening lap Jay tried to get past uh, get past the Welsh coming through chicane didn't work that's Nick the Villa looking up the inside of Craigie who gets a big wallop in the back from John Boy and somehow John Boy holds it all together and they're all still through cleanly. Gary leads from Dan, from Smokey, from Emplava across the line. Then it's Craig, Nick the Villa, John Boy, Welshy, Fury though, crucially to the outside of Jay, needs to be in front of Cobb a little more than what he is, needs to be in front of this man as well, can't do so down Duffins dip, they come for the second time in the final race of the season and it is all patient as you go if you Jay and Cobb. Yeah, it is, it is indeed. They're all. They fear he doesn't look the patient. Oh, Jay! Jay! Huge moments on the outside of the gravel. How has he not put that in a wall? He's managed to save that brutally, but he's dropped behind Fury. But Cobb's now got the run on Fury. Cobb, the championship leader, side by side with Fury, his biggest rival. He's sat behind the pair of them, and towards the hairpin they come, and it's all going to be on the inside. And Cobb, job done. He didn't play to Fury, though. And Jay gives him a bit of a wallop in the rear, and that stops the momentum of Fury going on the inside of Cobb. Yeah, it does indeed. I think Jay said in the interval, he always gets damage in race two. Damage again. He does there. Cobb then passed Fury. Fury looking back at him down. Duffins dipping in towards Leslie's. And Fury set him up an absolute kipper. And job done up the inside. And Cobb's in the gravel and Jay's through. The championship leader is now behind by some margin to both of his drivers. We have lost Keegs. That was Nick the Villa rejoining then. We did lose Keegs. Let's go to the front of the pack. Dan is right on the back of Gary. In fact, might be having a look at Gary. He is up the inside of the hairpin. And the Astra in the final race leads coming out the exit but Gary should have the momentum Fury's got past Welshy in the background we'll just stay with this momentarily Dan and Gary job done look at Fury though uh, Jamie in the background he's past Welshy that was 
that was Jay getting past Welshy. No, Fu oh, well, she's got oh, Jay's got past him as well, but Fury already got the move done then. As Smokey now looking to attack Dan, the lead Scottish driver. Dan had a massive slow coming down. Dustin's dip had managed to keep Oh, it. Gary! Ever so wiggly through the chicane and on the gravel. John Boy and Nick Villa are having a good scrap behind as well as M. Plover's back up in that top four. He was fourth in race one for a while. Sorry, he was third in race one, if you remember, Jamie, for a while and lost mm -hmm. out. And Dan just being able seems to catch Gary. Gary's car seems a little slidey at the moment. And through the hairpin they come. You just sense now that Gary's going to pull away. As Fury still leads from Jay. Fury's on the back of Nick the Villa. Their battle resumes from race one. Cobb's now got past Welshie as well. So, so Cobb is just following Jay. What he just what he needs to do. Dan right up the curve. He's attacking. Attacking like mad. Oh, he's got very wide there, so that's going to give Smokey a run, but he can't overtake through there. But he's going to try. Oof. Smokey having a look left, right, and centre up the chicane and through the t turn four corner. As uh, Fury, then you see in the background, look right on the back of Nick the Villa, but goes in the gravel a little bit, and this will allow Jay to gain a bit more time on the back of him. The question is, Fury, look at that, a 49.7 from Fury on the last lap as Cobb now gets past Walshy, and anything that Jay and Fury need to do. Cobb needs to do as well because as it stands at the minute Jamie let me work this out just talk us through what's happening so Fury trying to get a run on Nick Villa here the person who battled with most of most of race one Dan's now dropped off Smoke off, um, off Gary and into the clutch of Smokey Devil so Dan has a massive wiggle Smokey's looking at the inside and Smokey gives him a whack up the rear as it stands then Jamie at the minute before fastest lap is calculated everything would stay as it is so it's not enough for these boys to d change anything at this moment in time Fury and Jay need to make up some more places and keep Cobb behind them yeah they do as Nick the has gone around so Jay and Fury have got yeah Jay and through. Fury have got another two, another place each there now was that more contact or what happened not too sure but Fury now on the back of Craig E as again Fury looks like he's at the inside of Craig, of Craig there. He's about to get, he's, he's already got sixth place down down towards turn one. And Fury's got the job done. Now Jay's got to try and look to get Carl's to foot. He's putting more Carl between him and Cobb. And Cobb isn't on the back of the video yet. He is indeed. Fury then passed Craig E and that puts another car between him and Cobb. That's Smokey Devil who's had a big moment after the chicane and he's just rejoined in third place. Jay now looking up the inside of Craig E. Can't get the move done. Patiently waits once again. But you're right. Two, uh, three Cobbs between Fury and Craig now. And Jay just needs to stick with Fury. He needs to put cars between himself and Cobb. Can he get past... Uh, Craigie not at the hairpin looks for the better drive out the corner and I think has just got a nose alongside has to avoid Craig coming off the curb and Jay tucks him behind he's seeing Fury driving to the sunset but let's just double check here Jay on the full fuel yeah Cobb on the full fuel yeah Fury yeah. is what about Nick the Villa as well Nick the yeah. Villa is and Cobb yeah Cobb, Cobb is, is as well so all running the full fuel yeah and Cobb's now on the back of Nick the Villa so Jay has got past Craig as well and Fury is on the back of John Boy Fury is on the back of John Boy and they've had their ding-dongs this season haven't they can they get to, can Fury get the job done he's then got M. Plava and Smokey Devil really close up the road but Dan has dropped Smokey Devil after Smokey Devil's mistake Nick the Villa's made a mistake and this could invite Cobb through and does invite Cobb through Cobb will have the inside line for the hairpin that is job done well she's coming as well here and for Cobb it's up another place that means Fury and, and uh, Nick the, uh, and Jay sorry have got to work harder Fury to the outside of John Boy here then can he make it stick it's probably not going to work around the outside and gives John Boy a bit of a tap up the rear as they come down the hill. Has he set him up for turn two? No, he hasn't. No, John Boy defend, defended that very well. Oh, it's M. Bluff and Smokey going side by side. 
as Empath have got the position. No, Empath has run away. That gives Fury another position. That gives Fury another position, and it might give Jay a look up the inside. You can see Fury getting through, and Jay as well gets up another place. So that is again two cars between Fury and Jay to Cobb, which is not what Cobb wanted to see. He's got to catch the back of Craig E there, look. And Fury looking on John Boy as John Boy looks on Smokey Devil. Jay looks to the outside of Fury, tries to maybe get a cutback. He gets the better drive than Fury, but Fury blocks him off. Yeah, Jay's still there though. Fury's got to give him the run. Jay's going to be, going to be there. Is the damage going to hurt him? It looks like it has just. So Fury manages to stay in front just for now. Yeah, just for now. And Amplava probably lost out from overtaking in the wrong spot again. Cobb still hasn't got past Craigie in the background, you can see. And at the minute... Uh, anything Fury does Jay follows he's got past Craig now because Craig's off in the gravel in the background so Cobb has one car between them and that one car is Amplava Fury right on the back of John Boy now and he's really hassling him but Jay's also hassling the back of Fury surely John Boy's got to def go defensive because he's not close enough to Smokey Devil Jay's already pulled out behind Fury he's got to break a bit earlier than Fury tries to get the traction out he's got to have a run on Fury gets right alongside him as Fury had to be a bit because of John Boy and now John Boy is blocking the path of Jay as Jay is, is he got a nose alongside Fury enough I think he has you know Fury tries to come across him and Jay has to get out of that lift off the throttle Fury's I think you Fury it's fun John Boy ran there Jay is going to try and look around the outside not going to work there Duck is not going to get the run there Dan is close within a few is close right up on right up on going for the race but we'll stay here because this is for the champion for the championship. Dan, the Dan's got past Gary. Dan has just got past Gary 1-3-1 then, so I don't know what's happened to Gary. He must have ran wide somewhere. Here comes Gary then. Must have been at the chicane, Jamie, I wonder. As Gary back into the lead of this race. Let's go back to Fury and Jay. What is happening back down there? Jay, once again, choosing that wide line and maybe to cut back underneath. He does this time. Fury can't get past John Boy because Jay's now up the inside. Cobb's lost a lot of momentum on Emplava and Jay now more side by side with Fury. No, he's not as Fury pulls out and now he's going to look up the inside of John Boy into turn one and is that job done for Fury oh, oh a tap from John Boy a wiggle from Fury and Jay's going to look up the inside of John Boy as well and that's a position for Jay and Fury and Jay both get through yeah they do indeed Jay had a massive wiggle coming down coming down Duffin so Fury's, Fury's wide Fury's wide and this gives Jay an opportunity Cobb's also wide and that could put Nick three cars between them and Jay is ahead of Fury Dan's also back past Gary and Fury's going to be looking each way till Sunday to get past him on the way down to the airpin with just under 10 minutes remaining Cobb now has two cars three cars between his closest championship rival yeah all, all Jay's got to do now is just Ben from that again. Fury's going to look to the inside because I think he's got the better straight line to be. Jay's going to let him have Just going to let him have it. Gary's got back into the lead of the race as well. Jay's now going to look for the cutback down to Duffin's tip. Down Duffin's tip. No, he doesn't get it into Leslie's. They come. And Jay, I think, just has to really stick with Fury, but he wants them extra cars between himself and Cobb. And Cobb not able to catch on the back of M. Plava or John Boy here at all, who are right on the back of this battle between Jay and Fury at the moment. Yeah, they are. Now, are they going to show any remorse for, for the championship battle? Oh M. M. Plava launched himself up the curb, and that could give a position to, to Cobb here, but I think he's got back to racing to be defensively in the Now, Jay is looking to the outside. I reckon Jay is hoping that Fury can pull him alongside. This I. Sorry. Two. Yeah, top two uh, side so by side coming onto lap 14. Yeah. Gary just stays in. Jay gave Fury a bit of a whack, if you remember, Jamie. Lap two or three. I wonder if Jay's carrying a bit of aero damage from his little tap on the back as Amplava's dropped down to ninth place now. So Cobb has gained another place. And Jamie, just talk us through it at the minute while I work out the current standings once again. Yeah, Nick Villa has now got past, got back past them. Probably. Now, where, what's Jay doing? He's just slowly dropping back, but I think Jay is going to try and get Fury to pull pull him into Smoky Devil. At the minute, it is still not enough. Cobb will still be the champion from these drivers. Obviously, fastest lap not added to that yet because we don't know who's got the fastest lap at the moment. But Jay definitely is struggling on the straight line speed compared to Fury. And Cobb then needs... He's at the minute still in the driver's seat. But the minute podium start to... We start to get close to these podium places. They're in trouble. 
if you're Cobb or Jay at the minute. Fury looking to try and get on the back of Smokey. I think it's when Smoke Fury's behind another car that that's when Jay can catch because I think Jay's got too much damage that that's when it's happening. Yeah, Jay just ran a little bit wide there. Cobb ran a little bit wide and this is an opportunity to John Boy to get past. Jay sideways through that as is John Boy and Cobb is getting ever closer. Good evening to Max in the chat and you are right. Cobb is coming as John Boy on two wheels and very, very wide through the chicane. 18 people currently watching this video at uh, this stream. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new as Jay is losing out to Fury at the minute. Cobb's losing out to the pair of them and Smokey Devil is catching Gary and uh, Dan here. I tell you what, a Fury win is not off the cards yet, so Jay might need to uh, try and pick his speed up a bit, because if Fury gets onto the back of these, these three, and these three start battling, Fury could take the lead and could take the champion. Jackson Fury was 1.2 seconds quicker than Jay on the last lap, so I think Jay's got some aero damage here, and it's really hurting him. As Dan then trying to get on the back of Gary, this Fury, yeah. look at the gap Fury has over Jay, and Cobb is coming with... Dan's, Dan's also not off the table for a race win here. No, he's not off the table for a race win, but we know how much Gary, Gary defended from earlier in the race, and Fury is two and a half seconds off the I, back. I it's wonder so if Dan's made any alterations, Jamie, because he looked slow down the straights last time around. Doesn't look as bad this time. I expected that BMW to just drop him. Uh, Cobb's got past John Boy, so Cobb is up into sixth place and is going to be and is behind Jay now. So Jay really needs to get a wig on, but I think he's struggling with that damage. So I think, I think for Cobb, he, the person he's got to look out for the most is Fury. It is Fury at the moment, and if you're Fury, you're going to be banking yourself some 13 points. If you're Cobb, oh, you're getting it's... yourself 10. Smokey, though, is very, very wide. Comes on ahead of Fury at the minute. Podium on offer for Smokey Devil. He's not going to give that up lightly as he goes to look to defend here at Not Kill. This will now bring Jay back into play, you'd imagine, if Smokey Devil can defend from Fury. So even if Fury gets third place, Jamie, he needs to be second or above as he's going to try around the outside. Can't get the cutback as Smokey devil beautiful on the corner there jason plato-esque and this could really allow jay and cobb to catch fury now then fury he's got to keep his cool he's got to keep his concentration he's got to get second place he's got to get dan if he's to win this championship he has indeed he's trying so hard as shit smoke is wide and that's Fury bouncing off the curbs into the side of Smokey. That, though, he's job done. And that's another place. Cobb's wide at the background. And Cobb might lose out to John Boy here. No, he hasn't. Got on just in time. And uh, Fury through then. So now he needs to hunt after Dan because the championships is on the cards for Fury in this one. Unless Cobb can get ahead of Jay. And Cobb is quite a way back. Or is Jay going to let... Would Jay let Cobb through to win the championship? Well, that is the question. Smoky Devil, 51.5. Jay, last time round, a 50.1. So Jay needs to have clean laps. Four and a half minutes left in this race. Smoky Devil still on the back of Fury as Jay is on, he's, he's on his way to try and catch these two. Cobb and Jay need to be as clean as a whistle here because Fury is hunting down Dan. And Dan will not be an easy opponent. He's a five-time champion at Simplay. GT5s, GTE, GT3. This will be Dan's first G non gt category and he's not won the championship funny that isn't it hey, Dan wins in GTs but nothing else maybe he ought to go back to racing the GTs hopefully we see him in the GTs next season but for Fury it's all about getting on the back he needs second place if he's listening he knows he'll need second place Smokey Devil trying to stick with him and Jay trying to come with him as well yeah you can see how much Fury is pushing that car he's on the he's on the power very quickly I think there was a flash of the lights over Fury as well to signal to Dan I'm come I'm coming sunshine make your own arrangements yeah Dan needs to make sure he's got his own race to run and he's, he'll probably want a second win in that Astra he's not had the best of times of it and he's not far off the back of Gary so Dan he's not going to make this easy for Fury at all yeah, and for Fury going. here, oh, yeah. a little wide. Smokey's in the gravel. Oh, Jay's followed him. When Jay needed something to go wrong, it hasn't at the moment. Yeah, he's, he's still not far off the back, but I think he ends up in the gravel again. Now, Fury is really close on the back. Three minutes to go. Is he going to have a look down the inside? No. Dan covers. But is that, is that mechanic going to get dragged down the inside? No. He's, he's going to have the better straight line speed. 
It is, but it's weird. Dan defends and a flash of the lights again from Fury, really putting the pressure on Dan at the minute. And this is going to test how good Fury is because he's got to pass a five-time champion. Dan all over the curb. Fury tries to get a run. Can't do it there. Not only then, Jamie, does he have to pass a five-time champ, he's got to pass a two-time champ. Yeah, Fury's having a go through there. Jay's got past Smokey Devil. Cobb's also got past Smokey Devil. So Fury now, even second place isn't going to be enough. Fury has to win this race at the minute, Jamie. Fury will score 15 points. Jay will score 11, uh, sorry, 13, and Cobb will score 11. Fury needs to out. In fact, second place might still be on the cards for Fury to win this championship, in fact. Fury, oh, Dan gives him a bit of a rub, but if, is that McCann going to have the legs in a straight line? We'll see, they're side by side as they come across the line. Dan's got his car on quite just enough. Who's going to be later on the ropes? Is it going to be Fury or is it going to be Dan? They both try. Dan is later on the break, but Fury's going to try it around the outside. He's going to stick his car down the inside, but he's not quite got enough. Fury needs to be careful here that he doesn't make a mistake. He's currently in the box seat and he's still got a minute 44 to go. And while ever Dan's holding him up, Jay and Cobb. Oh, catching. Fury, though, has a run on Dan. Up the inside. He's late on the brakes. He's got the job done. He's in the gravel there, though. And Dan's now going to have the run to have a look back at Fury towards the hairpin. Fury can't close this one off. Jay can see Fury and Dan back up into the lead. And if I know Dan here, earlier on the brakes, maybe a bit of a stopping on the apex. And he does just that. And job done. But has Fury got a nose up the inside? Has he got the cutback? This is what's going to test Fury out to be a champion. He has got alongside Dan at the moment. Dan down the straight they come. Fury should be back into second place. Gary's disappearing. Jay's championship's disappearing as is Cobbs. And Fury into P3, into P2 now, is right in the box seat to win this title. He is indeed. He's touched the gravel. Dan sees him further in the gravel. Jay is not far behind. Cobbs not far behind. Fury, Fury, what can he do in these last two laps? He's going to be tried. He's going to be tested. We're going to enter the final lap in just a moment. Well, she's not had as good a race this time round. He's down in P11. Dan trying to stick with Fury. But Jay is coming. And coming fast is Jay. Fury then. Dan's got to send one, is he? No, doesn't. Thinks about it, but backs out of it in the end. Jay is gaining on the back of Dan hand over fist. And this is really becoming an interesting battle now. It is indeed. As we come on to the last lap of the race, and the last lap of the championship. Can Fury keep in front of Dan, or is Jay going to get the pair of them? Gary leads by two seconds. Fury second from Dan, from Jay, from Cobb. Fury a little wide. Dan a little wide. Jay right on the back. Cobb was also a little wide. Jay then needs to get his third place from Dan. Needs to be on the podium because he needs to find himself an extra couple of points in terms of Fury. This is the last lap. Fury little just on the curb there. Fury, Jay's going to now have a look at Dan. And it's going to be, I think, Gary, who's already had a quick flash there, who's going to win this race. Dan defending from Jay for the final podium of the season. Jay needs to tuck underneath. He needs a better run than Dan. And it's going to be Gary 131 who wins the final race of the year after putting it on pole. He wins from Fury second. The question is, what is the championship look like? Dan crossed the line for third. Jay in P4. Cobb down in fifth place. With John Boy P6. Nick the Villa. Uh, sorry, Smoky Devil down in P7. Nick, Nick the Villa in eighth, and Love and Life Craig in tenth, and well, she not saying as you said, not good, not as good race one eleventh. Craig tenth and Plov the ninth, fastest lap of the race goes the way of Fury, so he takes fastest lap as well. And Jamie, get the top three in for an interview. Yep. While I do the magical calculations, and I can tell you now that the championship is so close it's closer than it was after race one should I get the get, get the top three get the top three and, and hopefully Jay and um, yeah get the top three in the chat and the uh, and the top three in the championship as well well Cobb and Jay just have to join I don't think we invite them back so if them two join we'll have to wait and see but what a job from every driver this season. What a job from Fury. 
And I tell you what, absolutely fantastic. Intense battles all the way. Gary's joined us now. Dan's joined us as well. We just await Fury on the podium. So while we're here, we'll speak with Dan. Dan, that was a fantastic drive. A great battle with Gary all race. And the Astra seemed a bit better race too. Well, after I found out this season, the Astra is better without fuel instead of 100 litres of fuel. So, I mean, that was epic racing with Gary. I always enjoy racing Gary. Just gives me uh, reminiscence of season three at Silverstone. That was absolutely brilliant. I love racing Gary. And if people say you can't go side by side at Knock Hill, me and Gary definitely proved it. You had the pace. You got in front of Gary a few times there. And like you say, side by side action all the way. Are you going to your dad's bonfire yard to, to join the Renault GT3 Renault and the GT3 McLaren to set your Astra on fire? Uh, I will I will say the Astra is not being set on fire. I mean, it's not going to be worthy enough to go into the museum. But, uh, I mean, I did the best I could with it. It was clearly the slowest car. I fought all the way until the first race of Knock Hill. Couldn't do it. So, I gave it a shot. That to me, Jamie, sounds like Dan's going to save his Astra for maybe the next touring car season. Yeah, right? save, it, yeah. save, it every, save it for every touring well, I will, car I will season. Tell you now, I will tell you now, I enjoyed racing Gary that much, but I might head to Germany again, but not purchase Snowfall. Possibly purchase a BMW. Mm, well, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Dan, I said on stream a moment ago, you've never actually won a championship that doesn't involve the name GT in the car title. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Talk us through that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> arguably, I'd say the best ones are GT3s. If you win that, you, you know you've done well in that because obviously that's the top guys. Me and Gary. You are quite agree with that, Dan. I think you've nailed that on the head. <laughs> GT5s. I had I had nightmares of coming here because obviously I remember GT5s <laughs> here, um, and I was making sure I don't push any wide before Matt gets uh, there. <laughs> um, but. Uh, GTE was given to me. Yeah, I got... Well, unless you class other championships where I've won LMP2. But other than that, yeah, it's weird. But now, who, I don't know who was champion, but whoever it was is a worthy champion. For sure. We're, we're going to see you back on track on the F2s on Sunday night, Dan. It's been a great season from yourself. Um, congratulations yeah. on this season. Uh, Gary, a win for you tonight. And again, another person who can't win anything but a GT championship. Yeah, I thought just a shame I've been disconnected in a few races and I couldn't give the boys a fair BMW, but it's nice to pick up a win in the last round. You, you've got to be happy, though, with a, a win in the last round, like you say, and, and maybe to come back in another Touring Car Championship a little later on in the year uh, and give it a proper good go again. Yeah, I'll give it a proper good go. Hopefully, we can keep the stable connection and um, I might have to spend a bit of time on setup because, again, between race and two, I made a little tweak. Still not quicker than the top boys, but... Uh, going in the right direction anyway um, we had Silverstone Classic on Thursday for the GT3s what can you do around there in terms of your Mercedes Benz um, as you know I'm struggling with the brakes with the Mercedes but around there it doesn't seem too bad so hopefully we can pick up some good points for the team well well done tonight Gary and uh, Dan as well we'll let you head off um, but Jamie four points separated the top three and Fury is the touring car champion for the first season. Two points clear of Jay, of Cobb, sorry. Jay, four behind. He did it all in the second race. And Fury, you needed that second place desperately at the end. Oh, mate, you got me shaking. <laughs> I really, oh. Congratulations, buddy. You needed that second place. And you made sure you went out there and got past Dan. Yeah, the Dan, everyone this season have been great fighters it's unbelievable the touring cars is such a close uh season championship it's amazing but a massive congratulations to jay and cobb for just being insane throughout the entire season i bet you didn't think after race one that it was gonna you, you was gonna be in the fight as much in that second race did it? i bet you didn't think you was gonna be there for the championship no, I, the setup for race one did not fill me with confidence at all. I was sat there saying, it's done, it's finished, that's it, it's done. And I made one tweak going into the race two that I didn't even test. And it helped out with straight line speed and the speed out of the corner so much better. 
Well, congratulations on the championship, Fiori. You finally got that deadline broke. You've, you've not managed to beat Dan in the GTs, but you've got the Touring Car Championship under your belt. I know Jay and Cobb are in here. Very much commiserations to you, you boys as well, because you had a fantastic season. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Well done to Fury, mate. Well done, buddy. Yeah, that was well done, mate. Well done, buddy. Well done, that was, well yeah, done. that was an amazing race here, mate. But you, yeah, you did amazing, buddy. So fair play to you. The, the best you fan won. Well. Yeah. It was Jay, all fair racing in that end. second race. Jay, just yeah, a quick no. question. Did you have damage in that second race towards the end? Yeah, well, it was, near the, it was at the start, near enough. Yeah. Because when me, me, Cobb and Fury were coming up the hairpin together, uh, basically I tapped the back of uh, Fury. It was my own fault. Yeah. I tapped the back of Fury, but I, I, it just caused about 3% damage and it, it hindered me then. Yeah, and Cobb, you must have been sort of Really getting frustrated every time you saw Fury pass a car, Jay followed him, yeah, and you just couldn't yeah, seem yeah. to keep with them. I was, uh, to be honest, I made a little change to my gear ratios, and like down the straight, Fury was just mega. Like, he, like when he was coming up the inside of me, I was like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm slow down this straight. <laughs> and, and yeah, I mean, it was it was a good race. I was just playing catch up a bit. I mean, we had a really good little like bit of a race at the start, and then I made a bit of a mistake. And once you get a gap here, it was really hard to. It was hard to watch them passing cars and me trying to play catch up. But still, really enjoyed it. It was really good. And obviously, like you know, well done to Fury, well done to Jay. They've been every, everyone's been really cool this season. So well done to everyone. Well, congratulations to you two for a cracking season. We hope to see you back for the next one as well. Massive congratulations to Fury on his first championship here at Simplay Motorsport. Jamie, final words and driver of the day. Uh, yeah, massive congratulations to uh, to Fury on his fir first championship. That was an absolute cracking drive, cracking cracking drive by everyone and everyone all season. Driver of the day has got to go, got to go to Jay. He he done everything he could to keep his total battle alive, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough in the end. Yeah, great drive to Fiori, great drive to Jay and Cobb, and a shout out to Dan and Gary as well. Smoky Devil had a better time of its second race. John Boy, Nick the Villa, and Plava, Craig, Smoky Devil, everybody that's competed, um, Welshy Keeks, everybody I, that's competed. What a fantastic effort from all of them. I have one thing to say. Can we have Fury, Cobb, Jay, Nick the Villa all out on the McGann for next season, please? Because. <laughs> I think this will. I think this will be one that's going to be discussed off air. <laughs> um, but no, massive well done to all the boys who have competed this season, including Monkey Boy, Mazda, uh, Andy when he came in for that one race, that Buzzy Boy, Bryn, and DJ Phil as well. We'll be back tomorrow night. We have the GT3s around Silverstone Classic in the Pro. And myself and Dan will be live for that. And Dan and Jamie will be live on Thursday night for the Pro Series. F2 starts on Sunday. Um, so we look forward to that one. And we'll have to wait and see when the touring cars come back. But I hope it comes sooner rather than later because this has been fantastic. From everyone here, though, at Simplay Motorsport, thanks for tuning in. See you later. Good night. Good night. Oh, well done. That was mega. Oh. Yeah, and obviously, well done to you two as well for your commentating because it's been yeah. brilliant. So watch the stream, mate. You're very, yeah, it's been Cheers. really, really cool. Cheers, and boys. You make, it, you, make, you make it really interesting and good to watch as well. You no, know, thank you. you as it is us, you know. So, you know, really well done. Really it means a lot. That. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, I hope we put on a show for you guys well, as well. Oh, tonight, mega. <laughs> yeah, that was mega. That was well done, guys. from everyone, man. I will uh, say now, you lawyers are out of that fucking again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I can't, and I can't wait to drive it next season. <laughs> Oh, here we go. And then it will be your turn to be banned after that. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll retire. I'll hang my fucking oh, hat. Yeah. <laughs> no, well done, boys. You deserved it. I, I pushed you as far as I could in this fucking sack of shit. Yeah, like, you, we, like we said before, you done really well. Season, you done well in that Astra, mate. Yeah. I did it justice by getting one win. That's all I wanted. At least one win. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 good, I feel like a twat, to be fair, Dan. <laughs> what was it What was it before the season? Five wins you'll get? No, I didn't say that. No, that's what I said. <laughs>